Howdy, I'm Cyberax with Outlandishly Crafted, and today we're going to be talking about creativity and being creative and um, working with other people that aren't creative. So let's just start off at the beginning. I'm a pretty creative person, and one of the things I've found and struggled with throughout most of my life is most the people around me are are not at all creative people. Um, they have no ability to pre see an idea and put it together and think it out and make it. They have a completely different brain set and I guess I don't know, it's just how their brain works and so when I ask them hey oh I would like to make this video game or I'd like to do this this idea what do you think they can't even give me any feedback because they can't process that out now, if I gave them it, and or I gave them a demo, or I gave them something and said, hey, play this or check this out, they could give me some feedback. But just blindly asking them, hey, I'm really thinking about making this game. What do you think about it? Or what is your feedback? Or what, what could we add to it or change? Or what don't you like about this concept? They just can't, they can't, they can't do it. And... You know, I'm in my 40s, and it's really difficult to, to process that. It's hard for creative people to understand that I think the numbers are 94% of the population is not creative. So an Apple executive I was pitching an idea to on how to enable everybody to be creators flat out told me, oh, well, only... You know, 7%, 6% of people are even creative brain sets in the first place. And I just kind of stuck my nose up at it and said, whatever. But the more that I think about it and the more that I interact with people and I try to pitch ideas to people and I try to say, hey, we could do this, the more I find that they can't understand or process what I'm saying because their brains just don't work the same way. And so I'm betting that you found the same thing with your friends and family and you've you've kind of started to, to discover and get some of that. Um, and so I wanted to do this video just to kind of point that out more and it it's kind of important if you're going to get into a business relationship or a project with someone that you understand what kind of person they are and how they process stuff. Because if you're thinking, oh, we're going to make this huge, wonderful project and you've got it all in your brain, you can see it and you, you, you think that they can see it too. And then, you know, you find out months, years, decades later that they can't see it or that they never could see it or they don't have a good idea of what you're even talking about or what you're doing maybe they're the money people and the investors and you thought you're on the same track and now you find you're not on the same track it's it's really frustrating and difficult to come to those realizations and so i just recently was trying to pitch some ideas to friends for feedback and i literally they couldn't give me one single thing it, it, it is very frustrating and it's something that i've struggled with a lot that I, I i want feedback and help from people that i am making the games for or people that i think um you know enjoy these type of concepts but they just their brains don't work that way i i, I need to have a different approach where i can give them um 
visual information and show them something or let them play or touch something. And I think that this is also really important when you're talking about investors or managers or project managers or non-developer type people or people that are you're, you're working with that aren't creatives to try to express and and get through what's going on and what you're doing because if you're not on the same track boy is that a rough team to be part of um and so i think that's something that you really need to pay attention to and not just ignore i've tended to just ignore that through my life some of that's just because i end up making demos and making stuff anyways and then just showing it off so people have a better idea i think just because out of force I've I've just had to because this, it hasn't worked well trying to tell people my ideas. Like, I'm going to tell you, hey, I want to build a city builder sim in Minecraft where you are top-down view and you bounce around and, um, you know, set everything out in a grid pattern and build cities and build castles and you have walls and you have farmland and you have all the stuff that you can manage and it, people do you say, wait, in Minecraft? And they can't even get past Minecraft. They can't get past just the basics of, well, isn't that a pixel art cube thing? It, they, they are still stuck on step zero, and you're already on step 15, um, and they can't process that. So if you then instead take and build a world, maybe something like this, and say, well, look, here we have terrain manipulation so here we can um, modify the trains and you could have walkways to go up or steps or diagonal blocks and then you could have you know rivers and you have um, pins for the animals and you have castle wall structures and you have um, connected blocks systems and you have all of these things, and if you put all these into structure blocks and then allow you to um, place them in a grid system, all of a sudden now you've got a city builder that you can start building these massive areas in a short amount of time, and they start looking, you know, like something you would expect in a city builder game. So I can... So it, it's just a big difference in how you present the information and, and the, this realization that you come to that not everybody's the same. Most people aren't the same. Most of us are processing different information differently. And if you're finding that you're struggling to communicate with people that are creatives or aren't creatives, then that that probably means that you're in a different set and a different brain set than they are. And it's worth acknowledging and building in processes and working at how do we mitigate and fix that? So how do we break down those barriers and try to communicate better? Or at the very least, let's, make sure that we're communicating on the same things. And so maybe that's visuals and you need to just provide more visuals for those teams. Maybe that's um, demos. Maybe it's something where they just don't need to be um, part of that. Maybe they don't need to be part of that creative piece of it. But if they are being part of the creative piece, then it's really critical that if they aren't creative people, that you get on the same track. And so this is just a weird thing. It's something that I've just been pondering in my brain and struggling with when I want to reach out and talk to people and say, hey, man, I have this idea. What do you think? Or do you think this would be a fun game? Or what could we do to expand it or add to it? And they just they have nothing. And and my, my parents are this way where they just have no creative, um, even in, the sense of an imagination. They have no imagination. Um, they don't have the ability to imagine out a situation or scenario or game or any of that. So something I just wanted to bring up, you may be feeling feeling these things and just not being able to connect the dots. And so I wanted to just verbalize and say, hey, yeah, I, I see this. 
I see this in people. I don't think it's a right or wrong. I think it's just how people are, and it's really critical that we meet people where they're at and how they are. And so if you see creatives coming in and they struggle with those things, um, you're not going to change them or fix them because they're not broken. You need to. We need to figure out how to communicate to them betterly or meet them where they're at. It's the same thing with people reading documents or watching a guide or listening to audiobook or having help one-on-one. -on -one. Everybody learns differently, and some people learn better in these situations, and some people learn better in those situations. And so we need to work at trying to identify those differences and then bridging the gap between us logically and in a graceful way. So thanks for listening and watching. If you have any comments or you've run into this situation or other situations you wish that someone would talk about or bring up, uh, throw it in the comments and uh, I'll uh, try to make a guide on it and, and bring it to the surface. So thanks again for watching. I'm CyberX with Outlandishly Crafted. And this has been a talk on creativity and are people really creative or is it really a small percentage?